The geographic center of the contiguous U.S. since 1918 has been consistently cited to be this coordinate. Zooming in on imagery to the central part of the Great Plains, the site is located on some farm fields about two miles northwest from the town of Lebanon, Smith County, Kansas. There is an associated historical monument built nearby. Bruce Springsteen visited a tiny chapel here to light a candle for a Super Bowl television ad. And it's the safest place on earth, according to the show Supernatural, and thus the site of a secret bunker used to fight evil or something like that. This geographic center was estimated by a national government survey effort, where a projected map was plied on a piece of highly uniform cardboard, carefully cut out, and for which a center of mass balancing point was determined. They also then figured out how far this center point has shifted with the later additions of Alaska and Hawaii. This near Lebanon site seems to be officially maintained as the center of the lower 48 states in recent U.S. government resource materials. In this video, I present new estimates of the lower 48 geographic center, and I also present human population-based centers from county-level demographic data. For comparing new center estimates, we're going to zoom out to show all of Smith County, Kansas. Using the National Map Polygon for Contiguous U.S. on an equal area projection and a GIS software tool, the centroid point is calculated to be about 12 miles further west, near the larger Kansas town of Smith Center. I should mention that we are still within the estimated uncertainty of the older estimated center point. Using a 3D spheroid-based center mass calculation, the center point is calculated to be here, near Reamsville, which is an unincorporated community really just a four corners gravel road intersection among the farmland. With this additional point, I do think the actual U.S. center may be further west than the more Lebanon proximal monument. It can make sense to use this point for contrasting a U.S. area center with population and other demographic-based centers. This point is from county data boundaries, which notably don't include the relatively large water cover area of the Great Lakes, and thus falls further southwest, near the edge of Smith County. This point was obtained by dissolving the county polygons together and then again employing the GIS-based centroid calculation. This location falls near Kensington, Kansas, close to the western edge of Smith County, which I think can confidently declare itself the most center county of the contiguous U.S. by a variety of measures. Conveniently, this last point is essentially coincident with the center point obtained from the area-weighted mean center of all the individual county centroids, which is also a convenient, easy way to estimate population and demographic centers, which we'll look at next. We'll start this journey with a 400-mile flyover to the southeast, from the central Great Plains to the Ozark Highlands of southern Missouri, where we have the center of population for the contiguous U.S., based on recent county-level U.S. census data. One issue with the methods used here for obtaining such centers from demographic data is that there's a difference between the county's geographic center and a population-weighted center shown here by use of a gridded population product and mapped with interpolated hotspots. These positional differences are greatest in some large, sparsely populated counties of the arid west, where a dominant city or cities may be situated close to a county margin, constrained by water resources. The largest such difference is that of Nye County, Nevada, at about 110 miles. For the scale of mapping used here, however, these differences are small enough, averaging at a fraction of a mile, and sufficiently cancel out to not have a big effect overall. Another complication is population centers move, as mapped here, according to U.S. Census Bureau data, by decade. It starts in Chestertown, Kent County, Maryland, for 1790, around the middle of the English original 13 colonies. By 1880, it entered the northernmost bit of Kentucky, near the Indiana-Ohio-Kentucky border tripoint. 1910, was the one time this published population center fell within a relatively large community here in Bloomington, Indiana. And most recently, this marker has been placed in Wright County, Missouri. Since 1960, these U.S. Census Bureau points include Hawaii and Alaska. For the contiguous lower 48 states, the current population center is situated almost due east from that last point, about 20 miles. This contiguous center is located six miles north of the small city of Houston, Missouri. It is the spatial center of these county points, weighted by each county's population, which has a massive range, from less than 60 people in Loving County, Texas, 
to almost 10 million people in Los Angeles County. We can do the same weighted center point calculation for the distributions of male and female populations. The female population center is offset six miles eastward, near the town of Raymondville, whereas the male population center is similarly offset westward, near Success, Missouri. A sex ratio map helps explain this east-west offset of female to male population centers. Higher male to female ratios in much of the interior west corresponds to type of employment opportunities, such as energy extraction, that tends to encourage more male migration. Perhaps some migration of women too for educational and employment opportunities in the more urban east. The southeast belt of low male to female ratios is the result of the greater life expectancy gap there with women living longer. For major age groupings, there's a greater spread in population center. Here is the center for kids, 18 and under, six miles south of Hartville. And to the east is the population center for seniors over 65, near Centerville, Missouri. The spread between kid and senior population points is about 90 miles. We can relate this mostly east-west difference to a map of median age. The dominant trend relates to the youth of High Mormon, Hispanic, and American Indian population areas of the West and Southwest, lots of kids, versus old Eastern places like the whole New England region and most of Florida. Exceptions at the county level include older Sunbelt cities and some low population centers of the West and some younger college towns of the East. Moving to race population centers, the center of population for whites in the contiguous U.S. falls just slightly east of the Mississippi River just inside the state of Illinois, but nearest the city of Festus, Missouri. This is about 28 miles south of the major city of St. Louis. A county-level map of the proportion white population helps illustrate why this population center has shifted so much to the northeast. For other U.S. racial-based population centers, we need to zoom out a bit. The black population center is much further east and south, falling on the northern outskirts of Nashville, Tennessee. This position reflects the pull of the Deep South, an important cultural and geographic region of the U.S., where there's a large African-American population. The Hispanic population center is south and west, actually falling within the city limits of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The high relative population of Hispanics from South Texas to California has a great influence on pulling this center well to the southwest of the overall U.S. population center. Well, we're back to Kansas, to the Asian population center falling nine miles west of Wichita. Wichita has a history of attracting immigrants, including thousands from Vietnam after the Vietnam War, giving it a relatively high proportion of Asian residents for the Plains region at about 5%. But this location, of course, is primarily resulting from the offsetting balance of high Asian populations far west and pockets of the east. Also in Kansas, and the closest racial population center to the geographic center of the United States, is the center of population for American Indians. High population areas for American Indians, major reservations, and surrounding regions of the inland west. This center point falls 27 miles northeast of Dodge City. Then, the western edge of the Rocky Mountains, near Montrose, Colorado, is the population center for Pacific Islanders. In terms of absolute numbers, the greatest number of Pacific Islanders are in major western centers of California and Washington states, although migration agreements and employment opportunities have resulted in some high relative numbers. In some interior state county. Both other race and multi race category centers bring us back to Missouri. The other race population center is in eastern Missouri, with counties in New York and Massachusetts having high absolute and relative numbers for census recordings of other race. The multiple races center is shifted westward, with high absolute numbers in the northwest and a major foci in the state of Oklahoma, where multiracial identities are common due to its convergence point history for diverse groups including displaced African Americans, formerly enslaved, Native Americans, white settlers, and other immigrants. Final centers for this deal with money. The center of income falls north of the center of total population, about 32 miles east of Jefferson City, Missouri. Relatively low incomes in much of the south, highest incomes concentrated in swaths of the east and west coasts, and for many major interior cities. I want to do wealth, but direct measures of that are not really captured in the census. Home value is, of course, a large component of wealth, the center of which falls 32 miles west of Jefferson City. Map of average home value shows a spatial pattern that correlates with the distribution of income, but with somewhat elevated value overall in the west, 
particularly for some coastal and developed mountain regions. With these income and home value centers evenly straddling Jefferson City, that seems to be the place to live if you want to be in the middle of all this money and wealth in the United States. Income and home value of that county area are below average for the whole U.S., but a fair analysis of that would account for the distribution and skew of the data and consideration of cost of living differences. A final map for centers of the contiguous U.S. And maybe one more point for the center of power, that is Washington, D.C. See video text for methods and data sources. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, or watch more Geography Viz.